Don't even think about it. If you try to pick me up and give me a kiss, I'll bite your nose off. Ha ha! I may look like a monkey, but ah, I'm not a monkey. And I'm done being treated this way. <laughs> I'm an orc. Don't laugh. It's true. Ah. <laughs> I just got cheated by this damn Pandari potion maker. She sold me a potion that turned me into this. A puny little <laughs> monkey. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> Listen, you have to help me. You have to find that wench and make her change me back. It was the Khajiit potion maker, Nishi. She's in the tavern. Please! You have to. What is your dream? You want to be stronger, smarter, faster? For the right price, Unishi will make your dreams come true. Not again. Tell me he doesn't want a refund. Why do so many ask, and then when Unishi gives, they change their minds? In a manner of speaking, yes. He complained about feeling like an outcast here in Sentinel. He wanted to be faster and nimbler and to feel like he fit in. What does that sound like? It sounds like a monkey to Unishi. This is not fair. Ingredients cost money. Unishi cannot afford to give away free potions. How about this? You want to help the monkey? You help Unishi, and she will do what you ask. Unishi has just finished preparing two potions for other buyers in town. Deliver them, and we have a deal. One goes to a woman named Daria, and the other to a man named Erwad. This one will mark their houses on your map. Make it easy for you. I'm not drunk. I'm just drinking. Where is she? I bet that damned cat swindled me. I should have trusted my mother. Magic is no good. When it's about time. Hand it over. She promised me my hair would grow back, and that I would have hundreds of children. This better work. And the heart was heard to shout. Red diamond, red diamond. The heart and soul of men. I don't diamond, feel so good. Protect us what is this end. rat doing in here? Get no, out, you stop. damn thing. How dare you? You're not getting away that easily. And like a dart shot to its mark. Down in an alien well, magic confused the, the Lord in blood. This is wearisome indeed. Don't I know you? What is it? My husband has just returned home from the tavern. He is very hungry. If I don't prepare his dinner quickly, well, I simply do not have time to chat right now. Oh, praise Zet. I've waited so long. I asked Unishi to make me a potion that will make my husband kind and loyal. I hope it works.
Where is my meal, woman? Coming right away, dear. I hope this works. It's about time. This better be good. This tastes different than usual. What? What have you done to me? You witch! Quiet down, Farhad, and sit. There. Good dog. From now on, if you want a biscuit, we are going to have some new <laughs> I have a feeling I'm not going to like this. Isn't he cute? We're going to be closer than ever now. Message for you, comrade. Nishi is pleased to see you again. You have made the deliveries to this one's clients, yes? Unishi gives people what they want and nothing more. You have done the same for me. So here, take this to that silly monkey. It will return him to the miserable existence he had before. glad to see you again. Do you have a banana? I, I mean, do you have a potion to change me back? <laughs> Moloch's nethers! It sure will feel good to be myself again. Last time I ever do business with a Vandari. <laughs> at the tavern. I'll buy you a drink. There you are! <laughs> Say, about that uh, drink. I'm afraid I spent my last gold on this one. Maybe next time. Unishi's business in Sentinel is done. Time for this one to move on, she thinks. Is there trouble brewing? We're just wasting time again. It's you! Good to see you, mate. It's been a while since Shrieking Scar. Sorry I didn't see you coming. I'm busy keeping an eye out for harpies and those puny Breton brothers. You've already forgotten the Remley brothers, eh? I wish I could. The three of us were hired to drive off the harpies infesting the cliffs. Armel and Balin are supposed to be setting up traps, and I'm here to protect the village while they work. If I had to guess, yes. I just don't know what's taking them so long. They've been out there for hours. Could you help out your old friends, go look for them? I'd go myself, but I've got to keep watch here. Once you find those trap wizards, get them back here on the double. We've got to let the Elder know how we're doing. She's been waiting on our progress report. And between you and me, I think she's getting a little impatient. My pleasure. I can talk to you and watch for harpies at the same time. We're really proving ourselves here, I think. Proving our worth as cell swords, Or we would be if those two morons weren't ruining everything. A little village of horse nomads. The place is called Silverhoof Vale. Their elder tried to tell me all about her love for the herd mother and... Yeah. 
My eyes just kind of glazed over when she got to the part about talking horses. The Fighters Guild has stopped doing one-shot contracts, right? Off on some grand quest to kill the Daedra. So we have a chance to make a name for ourselves. Critters like these harpies are still causing trouble. That's where we come in. Well, we're still working out the particulars, mind you. If you join the Fighters Guild, you get all that armor and weapons and training. We just have the Remley brothers and my bad attitude to rely on. Shornhelm, we're always on the lookout for the next job, right? Gelvin decided we had this well in hand, so he and that sister of his set out for the city. Wish he was here now to keep those two knuckleheads in line. A job here, a job there, the usual. We're no longer called the Daggers, though. Seems a mysterious someone had a claim to the name and didn't want it tarnished. A threatening note and near-death experience later, we dropped the name. Right, we actually get harpy jobs pretty frequently. Seems we have a bit of a reputation for being competent against harpies, and that's all because of your help. Yeah, those gems got us by long enough to get another job. It helped that revealing his scheme actually made us more popular among the locals. Out of this mess come on help me out of this mess I've been stuck for hours by accident of course these things are delicate tricky one false move and snap I'm caught now my arms are sleeping my back is killing me can we get on with the rescue does it look like I have a choice make it quick already those harpies are looking at me like I'm a three-course meal! Thanks, I guess. Armel and I were trapping the whole gully. These things are designed to go with our scent lures. But as I said, they're very finicky to set up. Bah, Armel's a moron. His design's clearly faulty. If you hadn't shown up... Right. We put down these scent barrels. They draw the harpies in and they get caught in the traps. Simple, or so he said. I've already wasted too much time out here. I need to report in to Bumnog. Hey, would you be willing to help me out? Place the rest of my traps. You'll know where to put them. Armel went ahead of me to place the scent barrels, just like the one here. Put the traps with the barrels, and keep watch for my brother. And be careful. Don't want you ending up like me. Oh. Yes, yes, of course. <laughs> How have you been? We're fine. Mostly. We're doing the best we can, anyway. Still in the harpy business, just like the old days. Do they? They're not, you know. We deserve better than what Lord Deal was going to do by us, didn't we? I didn't recognize you until you mentioned it. Good to see you again. Imagine, meeting up after all this time. Can't you tell? Listen, I've got to get back to Bumnock. While you're out here, see if you can find that brother of mine. Yeah. 
help! This crazy bird's trying to kill me! Dinner. Thanks. I'll see you back at the village. Are you telling me you've made absolutely no progress on the contract we signed with you? It's Armel's fault. His stupid trap malfunctioned again. It's not my fault. Those harpies are crafty and bloodthirsty. Is that why you reek? What is that smell? The harpies, they're here. The scent lure on these two brought the whole flock down on us. We need to wash this stuff off before the Harpies get us to the pond. Please, go with them. The villagers and I will hide from the beasts. Could someone get my back, please? I'm scrubbing as fast as I can! <laughs> Could someone get my back? Hey, 
What do you say we just leave the Remley brothers for the Harpies? Bird yeah. women need love too. <laughs> We're almost done. Just a little longer. Not, I think we solved their harpy problem. Nice work. Let's get back to the village and check in with the elder. A moment before you go inside before you go in I need to talk to you I vowed that I would always face my opponents as an equal if an enemy came at me with a sword I would meet his blade with one of my own the harpies fight with claws how could I go up against them with anything more than the fists nature gave me sharp and natural they don't wield weapons, so neither will I. I will fight them head on, fists against claws, and I will do so with honor. The village elder, she's not sure we did any work. And look, I know we messed up a little. And you helped us out, a lot. But we're trying to build a reputation here. And most of our jobs don't go like this. So could you stretch the truth? Whoa, whoa. Lie is such a strong word. We set out traps, and the scent lures worked just as they were supposed to. And most of the harpies are gone now, right? So everything worked out, after a fashion. If she doesn't think we met our end of the contract, the Elder won't pay us. And she'll probably spread the word that we're idiots. Eventually, we'll starve to death. Is that what you want? For all of us to starve? You're the only one who isn't a member of this group. Perhaps you will speak truly. The contract specifies they must do the work promptly and effectively. I'm not sure what happened, to be honest. Did they do anything worth paying for? You're not part of their group, as I said. I'm not trying to cheat them. I just want to know if they did what they said they would. Is their effort here today worth our hard-earned gold? I am pleased to hear this. When the Harpies attacked our horses, we were desperate. They're as dear to us as our children. We will gladly call on this group again, should the Harpies return. Your friend is vouched for your good work. Though your methods were unconventional, you greatly thinned the Harpy flock. All in a day's work. We're glad we could help. Here's the agreed upon payment. Stories of your heroic deeds will be told to all those that pass through our camp. Thank you. Our business is all word of mouth, so that'll be a huge help. And thank you, friend. We won't forget your support either. Get off your arses, boys. Go take down those traps. We don't need them anymore. But Bum Nog, we just finished setting them up. I get to take down the pots. It's your turn to get caught up in those nets. These men will always have a place of honor among my people. The 
brothers and I appreciate your help, my friend. I know this job might have been a little rough, but we're getting better with every contract. You'll see. There aren't many that would have helped us out. I'm grateful. Grateful enough to share some of our payment as a thank you for all your help. 